Hello, everyone. Megan's hidden secret exposed. I know Megan always deceives us and thinks we are fools, but what she wants to hide is always exposed quickly. So who should be underestimated? She is not that smart. Don't overestimate yourself. Megan, wake up and stop being delusional. Throughout her entire life, Meghan Markle has consistently asserted that she is completely ignorant about the British monarchy. In actuality, she was completely ignorant of everything. She had no choice but to, well, she didn't want to Google them. Since, if you recall when she first met Prince Harry, the only thing she really needed to know was whether or not he was pleasant with her. On the other hand, she was completely unconcerned about anything else, including the power, wealth, history, and everything else that was associated with the British monarchy. It is strange, isn't it? Due to the fact that this particular address, which is located in the very center of London, just off Edgware Road, Marble Arch. However, as you are aware, she did not have a great deal of knowledge regarding British royalty. Then, however, she was informed of the fact that the late and splendid Duke of Edinburgh, His Royal Highness Prince Philip, referred to her as the Duchess of Windsor. The Duchess of Windsor. This was the information that was conveyed to her from the beginning. It is said by some that it was a nickname given forth with affection. It was only you who might have imagined that she interpreted it in the wrong way. One night, when she was reportedly staying in Kensington and feeling a little bit bored, she made the decision to go on a tour, or more accurately, a walk around London. This is something that we have to say, as it is always the case, and it is something that we have to express. Where exactly did she go? That is to say, hotels, nightclubs, and other similar establishments. The driver escorted her to this location, which was formerly the residence of Wallace Simpson. And it would appear that you need to be careful about what you say there, because there is a picture of Megan outside of this building, as they have stated. In other words, that is correct. And he, on the other hand, seized it. In addition, I believe that what makes this situation so fascinating is that it appears that she was simply curious about the kinds of stories she would come across. Now, if you were completely ignorant of the American world, what would be the reason for your interest in the connection between the United States and our lovely British monarchy? On the other hand, it seems that Meghan was eager to learn what gave Wallace her personality. In addition to that, they went to a bookshop and purchased some books. And from that point on, things went swimmingly, if we may use that phrase. What is even more remarkable is the fact that, according to that particular person, Megan claimed, quite literally, in the interview that took place later on, that she had no knowledge whatsoever of the British royalty. With that being said, she had sufficient knowledge about Wallace and we are already aware that she had sufficient knowledge of the late and stunning Princess Diana. But of course, she said that she had no knowledge whatsoever of the monarchy, and Harry believed her. She was completely ignorant about the subject. It is unusual, isn't it? I really want to know if you agree with my point of view. If you agree, Meghan knows nothing about the monarchy comment number one. If you disagree, comment number two. The manner in which things are brought to light, it's simply a matter of time, as it has always been. To be honest, these pictures of Meghan dressing similar to other royals is just creeping me out. Moreover, proving once again the woman has never had an original idea in her life. She just plagiarizes. How is Bout styling her hair in the recent interview? Seemingly to look nearly exactly like Princess Catherine, the day she bravely announced to the world she had been diagnosed with cancer. Not just the royal family women, she also heavily copied Ivanka Trump and Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie didn't copy just outfits, but also poses from magazine spreads. The first woman of the royal family she really started creepily copying was actually Catherine, the Prince of Wales. She started copying Diana. After Catherine and William married, about a year before meeting Harry in person, she's been using the same perfume that Princess Diana used. That is psychological manipulation to me. It's in amazingly bad taste. The day is coming when all of us who have been called crazy for saying she was never pregnant 
will be proven right. That's right, Meghan was never pregnant with Harry, but she has a daughter who is married and has a daughter from the first marriage, which was annulled. Meghan is a granny. Although Meghan knows nothing about the monarchy, in order to carry out her plot to trap Harry, Meghan must have thoroughly learned everything about Harry, such as his relatives, hobbies, habits, etc. Of course, Meghan knew all about the royal family. She had books on Diana. Meghan was devastated when Diana was killed in a car accident. Meghan's best friend at the time said Meghan would watch the funeral over and over many times. Meghan researched the royal family. Her best friend parents took Meghan with them to UK when both girls were teenagers. And there is a photo of Meghan and best friend for many years. A photo of the two girls in front of Buckingham Palace. Meghan is a manipulative con artist. She had well researched on Andrew, Prince William, and Harry, Izzo. She allegedly was a hostess at Soho House. At times, I read if true. Marcus A. had something to do with Soho House, so she went to them anyway, and so did the York girls, and Meghan got friends, especially with Eugenie, who allegedly the royal family needs to be very careful around Eugenie. Beware! Meghan's childhood friend said that she was obsessed with the royals. They even went to visit the palace when they were teenagers. What baffles me is why Meghan was allowed to marry into the royal family. With a background check, her sordid past, along with her mother's criminal record, would have surfaced. If Harry still insisted on marrying her, he could take her down to the courthouse. I just don't get it. Ah yes, there is a high possibility Meghan also told Harry she was pregnant. Thus, the rushed wedding. Didn't Eugenie have to put her wedding that had been planned off until a later date? Because Meg was supposed to be pregnant and they were in a rush to get her and Harry married. Those skeletons are rattling around and wanting to bust out of the closet. Then all the truth will finally come out about the kids. Okay, the time her Pandora box opens, the time the bullying reports are published, the fake moonbeam, the phantom kids stories come out. We are sick of her lies and word salad interviews. Megan is a dangerous psychotic narcissist with insane envy, jealousy, and hatred, and is definitely coming apart at the seams. Very, very dangerous. Both have threatened several times to harm several people. Cannot understand why they have not been arrested. Well, remember how he treated a former disabled teacher, took advantage of a drunk girl who was upset by a breakup with her boyfriend, so was particularly vulnerable? He acted like a predator and then ghosted her, even though he may have gotten her pregnant. Then he wrote disparagingly about her to make money. Remember how he mistreated his polo ponies to the extent he rode a pregnant one to death, despite being warned the horse was not up to it. He wore the Nazi uniform. He was a self-confessed druggie and got drunk to the point he would strip naked. He supposedly bullied his security guards. He was always jealous of his brother and certainly never wished him well. He confessed he hated his father and thought about killing him, but at the last minute, fired at a barn ahead of Charles's car. Remember how he only thought of the supposed Taliban he killed as pieces on a chessboard? This was the Harry even before Meghan. He was not the likable rogue, as the PR tried to protect and paint him. He presented as a self-entitled, egotistic, spoilt, nasty, delusional, seemingly dangerous and disgusting, narcissistic piece of trash. Birds of a feather flock together, so he found Meghan, and they have been able to continue their evilness with joint power. Woe beside anyone who comes in their path. Be warned this pair are energy vampires, and the Sussex squad needs to actually look at their actual behaviors in the past. Meghan got rid of her whole family on both sides. She glued a girl from school's eyelids together, etc. So many things she has said have been proven lies. Are they a nice pair? Everyone knows the answer. <laughs> Her only concern is, was he nice? Haha, <laughs> another big fat lie. All she wanted was fame and money. Everyone knows what a liar she is. It's all coming out now, isn't it? Can't wait for the truth about those kids to come out. Until those kids are proven as legit with DNA, I believe they are lies too. I think the truth would be fascinating but she would spin story after story and never even get close to what she really is.
After all, that's Megan's trademark. She'll take without giving, then say she doesn't know. She took all the niceties in Nigeria too, then disrespected their culture, and then boldly told them she, as an African, don't know Nigerian culture, and had no intention of researching it before traveling. One wonders how she knows it's her home. So sick of that woman. Do you agree with my views? I hope to read your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Now goodbye and see you again.